Once upon a time in the heart of Vienna, born on a cold day of January, was Ferdinand Georg Waldmüller. From a young age, Ferdinand showed a deep love for art, a passion that would shape his entire life. His journey was not easy. He joined the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, but soon realized that to survive, he had to start painting portraits. So he did, capturing the essence of those who sat before him with his brush and paints. In 1811, a twist of fate took him to Croatia, where he shared his knowledge as an art teacher. But the call of Vienna was too strong, and after three years he returned, his heart set on perfecting his craft. Ferdinand spent countless hours in the presence of the great master's works, not to imitate but to learn, to absorb the essence of their genius. As his skills flourished, so did his interests. Ferdinand's eyes turned to nature. He ventured into the outdoors where the landscape spoke to him in colors and light. He became a master of capturing the beauty of nature, painting scenes so vivid and lifelike that they seemed to breathe. Perhaps one of his most memorable moments was painting Ludwig van Beethoven, capturing the intensity of the great composer in one of his last portraits. Sadly, the original painting was lost to time, but the story of its creation remains, a testament to Ferdinand's ability to see into the soul of his subjects. Despite his success, Ferdinand's relationship with the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna was tumultuous. He was a critic of their methods, believing that nature should be the true teacher of art. This belief made him a controversial figure, but also a respected teacher to many, including Hans Cannon and Mahali Zichi. Ferdinand Georg Waldmüller's life was a journey of passion, a quest for beauty in the world around him. His legacy is not just in the paintings he left behind, but in the inspiration he gave to others. He taught us to see the world through the eyes of an artist, to find the extraordinary in the ordinary, and to always follow our hearts. In the end, Ferdinand's story is one of love, for art, for nature, and for the endless pursuit of beauty.